Hey everyone, Meta Platforms reported second quarter earnings results and in this video I'm going to review those figures. I'm also going to update my recommendation for Meta Platforms stock. Remember if you've been with me since the start of the year, Meta Platforms has been one of my top stocks to buy for 2023. I recently downgraded Meta Platform stock to just a buy, not one of my top stocks to buy because the stock had increased so much so far in 2023. I still have it rated as a buy. So you're going to want to tune in to see if I'm upgrading the stock again, keeping it where it is or downgrading it. So let's get right into it here. Total revenue of 32 billion was an 11% increase year over year. Now, I will say out of the major companies that I followed that rely on ad revenue, Meta Platforms so far has done the best. Now I'm talking about Alphabet, Meta Platforms, and Snap. Alphabet delivered revenue growth of around 7%. Snap had negative revenue in the most recent quarter. Meta Platforms at 11% has been the best out of all three so far. Earnings per share was up by 21% to $2.91. And despite its already massive scale, Meta Platforms managed to increase daily active users by 7% to reach 3.07 billion people that use one of Meta Platforms' app. Ad impressions increased by 34% while the price per ad decreased by 16%. Now it's going to be interesting to find out if this increase in ad impressions was a result of people spending more time on Facebook and Instagram and threads and what and the rest or was it just meta platforms increasing the rate of ads shown meaning if you were browsing and you were shown one ad every five minutes or so did they increase that to one ad every two minutes and thus annoying people browsing the app more often or was it just people browsing the app for longer periods of time and therefore getting more ads delivered if it was the latter that would be more impressive because that would indicate increasing engagement with meta platforms and it would likely mean that its short video format is proving to be very successful we'll know more about that after the earnings call i'm sure some analyst will ask and get that question answered from meta platforms analysts another thing i was impressed with meta platforms was the headcount they decreased their headcount by 14 percent year over year to 71,469. In this regard, they also did a better job in my opinion compared to Alphabet, which did not reduce their headcount year over year in their most recent update. And they've spent a lot of money on severance in those layoffs, right? So I don't think Alphabet has done a good job in their layoffs. I think Meta Platforms has done a much better job while incurring lower severance package costs. I think they're doing a better job there. Management is forecasting third quarter revenue of $33.5 billion. That would be an improvement of the 11% increase of the second quarter. So incrementally, their revenue growth is increasing. It's accelerating, which is really good news. Although they are increasing their total expense guidance for 2023 by at least $2 billion, to 88 billion so they now expect to spend 88 billion for this year that's up from spending at least 86 billion the cash flow from operations increased to 17.3 billion that was up from 12.2 billion in the prior year so a 5.1 billion dollar increase in cash flow from operation demonstrating just how lucrative meta platforms business model truly is and this is a result of the big picture the big threat that meta platforms faced about two years ago when it faced the triple threat of headwinds number one apple's privacy policy changes that made it more difficult for meta platforms to sell targeted advertising number two the rapid rise of TikTok, which was taking engagement from its users. And number three, the macroeconomic uncertainty that was causing marketers to pull back spending. Meta has responded effectively 
to all three of those challenges now and it's demonstrated in their revenue and profit growth here. So kudos to Meta Platforms for this performance. As far as my recommendation for Meta Platforms stock, I'm keeping the stock rated as a buy, although I am getting closer to putting it back into my list of top stocks to buy, although I'm going to hold off on that just yet. The stock is up just so much so far in 2023. I want to see how competitors are going to react to Meta Platforms and if they're going to try and limit the company's success going forward in the second half of the year. But that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.